Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. This is part 15 of building the uh, brand new off-grid power shed, power building, power wall, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, so today guys, we were able to make more progress on the off, um, on this um, building here. Um, so that's good news. Uh, we went ahead and started to install the insulation already. So, that, you know, we got that underwear. I'm going to go ahead and splice in a video clip that I took earlier today um, before we started to cover it up. Uh, so I'll splice that in right now. Hey everyone, I uh, just want to go ahead and um, show a very quick video clip here. Um, we're actually getting ready to um, put the um, plywood on and everything. So we went ahead and insulated all the walls here, all the way around. Uh, so we are completely insulated now. So it looks pretty good. Feels a lot more comfortable in here now. Um, so yeah, we're cutting our boards right now to start attaching um, all the uh, um, plywood and everything. So yeah, I'll give you guys more progress as it comes along here. But I wanted to catch this footage before I cover all this up, you know. So things are coming together here. All right, so um, after we got every all the um, insulation installed... <clears throat> Um, we started to just pre-fit the boards. Um, I, they're not screwed off all the way. They're just only a couple of screws just to hold it against the wall right now temporarily. Um, this board right here needs to be trimmed a little bit more to fit into that bay over there. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good, guys. It's actually staying a, staying a more um, comfortable um, temperature in here already with just the insulation. So that's that's doing really, really good. Um, we also added some blocking, some more blocking around, um, in different areas so that we, we, you know, we always had something to screw to. So like in this corner right here, for an example, um, you know, this board wasn't here. So we put a nice big board in here so that way we would have something to screw to. And then this board is screwed to this corner piece. So this board is nice and solid. Um, uh, so that way, you know, the corners and all that have something to, um, bite onto. Um, but yeah, we did make some good progress today, guys, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, so I think on Saturday, uh, I'm just going to get the game plan here. Um, Saturday, my worker is going to come back out, and what we're going to do is finish up all the, uh, well, I don't know. It depends. I might be able to squeeze some more hours in, you know, pre-cutting more boards and get them ready. Then when he comes, he can help me, um, you know, install them. You know, you know, it's always good to have, you know, an extra pair of hands to hold the board while you're running around putting screws and everything, right? So, yeah, um, I am glad that we got back on the project here. Um, still got a lot of work to go uh, ahead of us. Um, the only reason I'm putting this plywood in, guys, is so that way, you know, depending on where I'm going to mount something, you know, I don't know where the where exactly I'm going to mount something, right? So, um, with that said, if I didn't have this and I only had the drywall and I went and put a screw in here and that's let's, let's just say that's where it had to land... I have nothing to screw to, right? Uh, so that's why I went ahead and just added all this plywood on. So that way, I mean, it's pretty much overdoing it. You know, I could have easily just done like three walls with this or whatever. Or, I mean, or two walls even. But, you know, if I'm going to put all this in, I'm also just go all the way, right? Uh, so that way, no matter what and where, I always have something to screw to. And it's going to be nice and solid. Uh, so after all this is installed, um, I have drywall, 5H drywall, fire rated drywall sitting under my home. Uh, I'm going to pull all that out and then we're going to cover the drywall on top of this plywood. And um, that way, you know, I can uh, make the finished walls look really nice and, you know, clean and smooth. Um, you know, we're going to have to tape everything, mud everything and sand everything and paint everything. Um, but luckily, this is a, you know, pretty small, you know, room here. This is a uh, uh, 12 by 8 um, floor plan, technically, the layout. Uh, so... You know, it's not going to be, it's not going to be um, too intensive. Just, you know, just have to get the work done. Um, but that is the game plan. Once all this board is mounted, get the, uh, um, you know, the drywall out, get that all installed, get the finish on, primer paint, and basically we're ready for um, mounting equipment finally. Um, but I really want to get this wall finished here. Um, that way I can, I don't know if I can show it, it's probably dark back here. Um, that way I can, um, you know, make my distance from the wall correctly, and then I can drill the holes for the electrical pipe to come through the floor, and um, 
and then I'm going to put a, um, a junction box over there in the corner and then that way I can feed my lines to the junction box and that wire goes underground to my house to my um you know my breaker panels and stuff uh so yeah we you know we definitely have some progress ahead of us but we are making progress as we speak so that's the main thing as long as you keep moving forward you can get stuff done right so yeah we made some more progress not too bad and it's getting pretty cold already it's dropping down nothing nowhere near what you guys are experiencing where it's snowing but um it's weird because you can be in you know 98 degree weather hot sweating all day and then boom the temperature drops down to like you know 50 <laughs> you know 60 50 and you can definitely feel the change now if it was just one temperature all day it's not too bad right but um you know it is what it is um the other thing that um it was actually a little bit windier today and this morning it was a, like drizzling rain a little bit so with that said i wasn't able i didn't want to put the trim on right away because you know i didn't want to work in the, the wind and the um you know the rain and all that so um that's something that we still need to you know do on this building is put the trim on all the corners and stuff uh so i told my worker maybe after we get all the um um plywood you know installed uh then we can and if the weather is decent on saturday we can finish up the trim on the outside because once we get the trim on the outside done we're you know we're pretty much done on the outside except for just installing the the brand new door and that's another thing too so when i cut out that door i have a piece that's a, you know the exact size that i cut out so what i may end up doing temporarily until i put the door in is grab that piece of wood and just put two hinges on it and slap it back up in there so that way i actually have a temporary door right and then when i get more time um, I can run down to the supply store and pick up a brand new door and then um, we can slide it in there and mount it all up and make it nice and all that. So that'll probably be like the very last trim like up and around the door. But yeah, you know, we are making progress guys for sure. So it'll be an interesting um, build once we start wiring all the panels and mounting all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, the sun's setting right there as you guys can see running out of daylight. Uh, give me a thumbs up guys. Doing my best here to keep um, the projects moving here. Um, so like during the day guys if I have time I'll you know I'm documenting this and I'm building this during the day as much as I can uh, and then during the night time I am doing the night shift working on my bathroom uh, so we have a lot of content coming out guys so definitely stay tuned and um, you know you don't want to miss anything for sure because so um, anyway guys uh, give me a thumbs up if you guys have any questions leave a question um, you know a comment I'll do my best to answer all you guys back um, yeah it's time for me to take a shower guys eat and um you know, take a break for you know, maybe an hour or two, and then I can get back on my nighttime project. So anyway, I hope you guys' projects are going well, and I'll definitely see you guys on the next one.